Colin Turner here from the Freeboard Charter. My guest, Mr. Robert Schramm from the Netherlands. I know you through the Freeboard Charter. We've done a lot of work together and I really admire your enthusiasm and the, the effort you put into things. Really quite a rare quality. I'm finding more and more as I get into this to actually find people who are really dedicated and who will actually put in the hours. That's a really rare thing. So thank you for that. And that's it's fantastic the way you're operating. Really well done. Well, thank you, Colin. And I can say the same to you, of course. You started an initiative quite some years ago and that really has found a solid base already. So Yeah, we cool. We passed the 50,000 mark on the charter, which is nice. Yeah. That's something I'm really proud about. Congratulations. Anyway, yeah. yeah, thanks. But listen, you've got something going on which is really quite interesting and could be <laughs> extremely important. It's a new thing. It's something called COM21. Can you tell us what is COM21? COM21, it's short for the Conference of the Movement. And I think most people uh, know that the COP21, that's the official climate change summit in Paris in December this year, is taking place. And that's a huge thing. It's going to be a very important turning point in history because we're running a bit out of time about not only about coming up with solutions, but with stalling, implementing real solutions to the current global warming problems we have now. We thought that the Conference of the Movements was a good idea to let it take place in Paris also okay. at the same time. And the uh, Conference of Movements, what movements are you talking about? Is it like a, a group of, a movement of movements, if you like, that you're pr proposing? Yeah, we invited 350 movements, organizations, and they all have the same goal. It's a very broad basis where they're coming from. We're talking about old par paradigm groups and movements. Yeah. We're talking about some transitional groups. Then you can think about organizations like Ubicar. Then we're talking about the new paradigm of thinking, and which is the really three thinking level of the money three movements and some more spiritual movements. That all that three combined gives the basis for the conference. Great. Okay. And we're planning to actually send a delegation to the conference or how will you actually interact with the conference? The delegations that will be there are on invite only. So we specifically approach those movements and groups who are all into the change and transition modus, so to speak. I heard that they're setting up a village to engaging with, or they're, they're seeking public consultation in this conference, which is kind of a new thing, isn't it? The pressure is on to actually reach a resolution with carbon emissions and all that kind of thing. This is what they're trying to do? Yes, correct. It all comes down to social and economical reforms, which are very hard to push through for the old thinking paradigm, so the business as usual platforms. The United Nations thought this year they would create a citizens platform, a citizens village where we can join and interact with officials from the United Nations and other political parties. Who have you got listed to actually attend on the 5th and 6th of December so far? We've now got a total of 46 movements in, like yours of course. So Yeah, we're going to be represented there somehow, definitely. Yeah. We've got groups like the Zeitgeist Movement, the Venus Project. We're talking to Michael Tellinger of Ubuntu. We've got the Great Shift that's coming. It's a very long list, but we invited, of course, Al Gore of the Climate Reality Project. Well, he made a promise to try to get there, and we will try to do a video call if he can't get there. So we're very happy with that. So. And the same goes for Peter Joseph of the Zeitgeist Movement. We really want to have him, and mm. we'd be yeah, glad to have him. This climate reality movement, which is Al Gore's movement, is really a very large and active movement, isn't it? You actually attended a conference there in the States recently, is that right? Yes, we sent them an invite for the COM21, and I received an invite back to join climate reality training in Iowa, and that was Great. less than four weeks ago. It was easy for me to decide to go there because, yeah. first, it's a good initiative, I think, and second, it yeah. was very good to connect with those guys and talk about collaboration. Sure. Because we all know that if we really want to get to real change, if we really want to make an effort, we have to cooperate and collaborate and find our consensus in the goals that we have. And that's yes. just trying to create a better world for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. 
what kind of things were discussed at the climate reality conference or was there anything new or anything that you hadn't heard before or that anything that surprised you in any way mainly it was an extension of the movie El Goy made an inconvenient truth which started a very big climate discussion in 2007 since then things only went worse as in the climate changed the carbon dioxide exhaust got bigger the temperatures are rising more floodings are there more droughts are there we really experiencing this climate change thing there are big problems they showed us all if you put them all in a row if you see 20 floodings like happened the last seven or eight years then it's really a crying shame to see that we're still in the business as usual modus. Incredible. And is there any sign of that someone like Al Gore, someone like myself, or people who are advocating a money-free society would obviously cite the whole economic paradigm as being crucial to the climate problem. Mm. This is central to the climate problem because the way we are interacting with our environment is obviously not sustainable and we our priority is on money rather than actually caring for the environment. So is there any hint, do you think, from Al Gore's side of things that maybe mm. they're considering a large shift in economic thinking? Their spare point, they're saying we have to change to renewable energy and we have to do it now change from the fossil fuels to solar energy, wind energy and other renewables. That's their spare point. They're not really talking about economic reforms because that's a bit of a touchy thing in the States. They're highlighting the positive points that we can achieve if we would use all this technology and knowledge we have about the alternative renewable energy forms. Mm, yeah, certainly there's a lot we can do in terms of within the capitalist structure even to make things mm. a lot better than they are, yeah. no doubt about it. That's the thing about the Conference of the Movements, Colin. We are all inviting different groups and movements, just like Al Gore's and all the other specific groups who have their, their own ideas and proposals. They all cover a certain field, so nobody has the big solution or the big answer. Or perhaps mm -hmm. the Free World Charter has a good one. We all need to yeah. come together at this conference and talk about it and find a balance in all those ideas. Sure, yeah. yeah. How do you think we'll strike a balance? If some of us are advocating like a moneyless society or some are advocating you know, the gold standard economically wise or sustainable capitalism, are you expecting the delegation to put forward some kind of united proposal or some sort of common yes. proposal? Yes, what we've been starting with is starting to form a manifesto. Every movement and even just citizens can send in their proposals and ideas of what they think would be the best proposal to implement to get us through the transition process. That's what we're talking about. It's a transition platform that we're talking about, which means that you can talk about stuff like a shorter working week, like 21 hours, or talk about a universal basic income or a variation to that, a QB, which means in five years' time, you build off the money system to zero. I think what we would like to do is find a sort of in-between solution to make the full transition to a money-free world or a resource-based economy. Do you think they will find a consensus in Paris? Do you think that it will be successful? Are the signs there that they will actually reach an agreement, do you think? Well, our strategy is more or less is like this, that we feel with the COM21 that we want to be a counterbalance. So we don't want to be another big force that pushes things forward. We want to be a counterbalance to create awareness. The COM21 is just a start, as far as we are concerned. Yeah. What we're really trying to do is create a united Earth, and that's the real open mind platform that we're aiming for to grow after the COM21, where all movements can find uh, more consensus and collaborate more. Right, united Earth, that sounds ambitious. This is something that you're hoping to build afterwards, or I mean, some, another movement do you want to create later? Yes, but it's already going on, because the funny thing is, as we started the COM21 and, and inviting other movements and alliances and coalitions, talks have got started, and so these alliances are now getting together on the social media, having meetings. There are a lot of exciting things going on. They're finding each other, and they're all planning to collaborate more. Lots of great things are happening. We hope with the consciousness program we have with our conference that we can put some pressure on the public opinion and we can have an influence on the outcome of the official COP21. 
I have a question here from a viewer here who's just wondering about the whole thing about global warming and why has the name changed from global warming to climate change? So I guess this person is skeptical about climate change being altogether. It says the latest reports here say we will have a colder weather in the years ahead. So what is going on? Has the name changed so it can cover all type of changes? What do you say to people who are skeptical about the whole idea of climate change and that it's a hoax or whatever? Is, is that something that you don't answer for that or is that something that you even entertain? The ICCC report and the ICCC is the intergovernmental panel of climate change. That report says that instead of the two degrees Celsius rising of temperature on Earth, mm -hmm. we'll probably yeah. end up with four or five degrees. And we all know that at official climate change summits, the outcome was very poorly. Even if we get to this two degrees max that they're aiming at now, it yeah. still is not going to be enough. It's a scientifically based report. So I would say for this person who asks it to find the scientific basic for that, but it's coming from the World Meteorological Organization. Okay, well, listen, that's, that all sounds very exciting. Where, where can people find out more about this and can people join? Can anyone join or are you looking for a particular high profile change makers or group leaders to join? Uh, how can people find out more? Yeah, well, we have a website. It's uh, www.com21.org and there you can find all the information about our conference. Of course, we want citizens to be engaged and everybody can email or send in some ideas that they have or proposals. To keep things constructive and controlled at the conference, we have a conference with invite only. This means that we don't want big crowds to come together and to make a big fuss out of it. We really want to be at a very high profile, concentrated action. But of course, people are very happy to join when the COM21 has got in its new phase and it's going to United Earth Platform. And that United Earth Platform, you can see it as sort of a union or an alliance where all citizens can join. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Fantastic work you're doing is amazing. Yeah. Really, thank you for that. We all know that bringing this change in the face of society being the way it is can be difficult. And it's great to have people like yourself who are dedicated to the task of bringing change. So thanks a million for that. Thank you, Colin. Honor to work with you. And I just want to say to viewers that if they have ideas, proposals, just send them in, look at our website and find the email address. And we'll take them in on the manifesto that we're compiling. Don't be uh, afraid to put them in and we'll do something with Brilliant. it. So, Good. Yeah. So if anyone wants to add anything to the COM21 to, or to your manifesto, they can just go onto your website, yeah. com21.org, and uh, add something in there. That's fantastic. Robert, listen, thanks a million for talking to me today and continued success and good luck with everything you're doing. Thanks. For thanks, Colin. Thanks for having me and you too. Have a good day and good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye.